Hey guys, this is your friend Mainak from Civil Center and I welcome all of you back to our channel. So friends, in today's video we'll start making a composite structure in Tecla Structural Designer and above the composite structure we'll place a Howey truss and above the particular Howey truss we'll just insert the loadings and then we'll design the truss and also the composite structure for you. So stay tuned to our channel and this is the part one of the particular video in which will make the composite structure. So as of all of you know the composite structure is a structure which has members which can be of both RCC as well as steel. So let's start making it for first of all we need to define the construction levels in Tecla Structural Designer. We can define a level below as the foundation level. Let's say let's give it TOF and we'll give the level spacing let's say 4 feet or 1 minus 1.2 meters and this will be our plinth level and we'll go and insert a level above it let's say this level to be your spacing of 3.2 meters and then we'll insert slabs here let's say slab thickness of 150 mm so this is basically the G and let us let us make it as G plus 1 G plus 1 and in this particular floor we'll keep as uh, your top of steel or the steel decks and in these two floors we can provide the RCC slab so we'll just click on OK and after that we'll go to the structure base and here we can define some grids let us draw some grid lines here let, let us uh, select the quantity of 4 meters let's say 4 meters and then enter and then after that we can just take a parallel grid line here so we'll basically be modeling a 4 into 4 room so we'll give it a distance of 4 meters again and then we can select this to join the particular grid lines so when we join the particular grid lines you can also see that in 3d view this is the grid line which has been ready now we can place our columns so while uh, selecting your steel columns you can select any sizes of the sections which are given these sections are as per the Indian codes you can select as per the codes of the country in which we are going to provide it so this is basically section of ISSC 250 as you can see here you can select any section from here so we'll just click on cancel here and we'll just provide the particular columns from here so since this is the ba base or the plinth level we can also provide the beams similarly you can just change the grade of the beams and you can also change the type of the columns this is the section of the column which we are taking currently ISMB 350 so we have taken it and after that we'll go to the next level also that is our first slab level we'll go there and there also we'll provide our beams so after providing beams we'll quickly just insert slabs over it so as you can see our composite structure we have columns made of your particular steel beams made of steel and the slab here is of your RCC member so the next thing which we can do is we can provide the truss so which we'll do in the next video so stay tuned to our channel and hope you'd like this series. We have launched for you a complete recorded course on G plus 3 building design using Tecla Structural Designer in which all the aspects of your planning, structural design and making the final structural drawing sheet will be covered and in this course we'll also include two live demonstrations and two doubt clearing sessions for you. So what are you waiting for? Hurry up and you can contact the number which has been given here and also you can register using the link which has been given in the description.